let's talk about probability and complements and how they go together. So let's refresh that P of X is the probability of an event. Right, so if we say P of X is the probability of the of event, and let's say of the event actually happening, then the probability of not X is the probability of the event not happening. Now, thinking this through, we know by definition of probability that um, the probability of all events equals one, right? Because our probability of each is somewhere between zero and one. I should have P of X in there. So our probability has to be somewhere between zero and one for all of these, okay? But if I would put every opportunity together, so the event happening, the event not happening, together, these have to equal one. So the probability of the event plus the probability of not the event equals one, because that is all the possibilities that we have. Now, with that being said, we can write this different way. So think about um, your algebra manipulation. If I would subtract P of not X from both sides, right, these go away. So I would know that the probability of X is the same as one minus the probability of not X. This makes it easy that if you know one or the other, you can find it. We can also say, well, if P of X plus P of not X equals one, well, if I subtract P of X from both sides, these go away and I'm left with P of not X equals one minus P of X. So we can do a lot just knowing that the probability of an event plus the complement of that, which is the probability of not X, equals one. So the probability plus the complement must also always equal one. So just kind of a basic definition of probability and complements.